someone tries to access your mind through your dreams, you're not safe here. The 2010s have given us some 10 out of 10 big screen characters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable movie characters of the 2010s so far. I am Well, that's just as fascinating as the first 89 times you told me that. For this list, we've looked at films and film characters from the first half of the 2010s, ranking the most memorable, regardless of the genre in which they appear. Astrid. <laughs> Only one character is allowed from any certain movie, however. This is part of a series of videos exploring memorable movie characters throughout the decades. Gold! Ah! To the man with the exceptional beard and his unexceptional Number 10, Lizbeth Salander, the girl with the dragon tattoo. If you fail, this video will spread across the internet like a virus. A character originally created by Swedish author Stieg Larsson, genius computer hacker Lisbeth Salander has been brought to life more than once on the big screen. First by Numi Rapace, and then most famously by Rooney Mara in a 2011 Hollywood adaptation. And why, why do you need such an expensive computer? For work. Making coffee, sorting mail. I shouldn't even have to ask, I should have control of my money. And you will. An entirely unconventional, often socially outcast protagonist, Salander sports a punky alternative look. She leads a largely unhealthy lifestyle, and her vengeful methods can be unabashedly brutal. I guess I must have alarmed you turning up like that. If you that. touch me, I'll more than alarm you. She may be the girl with the dragon tattoo, but there's way more to this girl than just body art. What are you doing? Reading your notes. They're encrypted. Please, have some coffee. Number nine, Caesar. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. An actor well known for his performance capture animated roles, Andy Serkis steps into the skin of Caesar for Rise of the Planet of the Apes, garnering massive critical acclaim in doing so. A cognitively advanced super primate having inherited ALZ-112 abilities from his mother, Caesar's is a story of self-liberation, inspiring at times, but violent at others. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn 38! No! Computer technology advancement means that this movie's main ape is no longer the product of crude makeup. In the modern age of cinema, Caesar lives like never before. No. And no, we're not going home right now. Number eight, Samantha Her. Oh, what well, what do I call you? Do you have a name? Or... Um yes. Samantha. Really? Where'd you get that name from? I gave it to myself, actually. Number eight is a character that is able to make an impression without her even having an actual physical body. Tell me everything that's going through your mind. Tell me everything you're thinking. The titular Her is a computer operating system purchased by the melancholy Theodore Twombly following his separation from his wife. The OS names herself Samantha, and the two communicate verbally throughout the film. Oh, there's a lot more to you than I thought. I mean, there's a lot going on in there. I know. I'm becoming much more than what they programmed. But what really makes her so fascinating is the fact that she adapts and evolves so quickly that the pair is able to bond and have a relationship, despite the fact that she isn't even human. Oh, uh, you have a meeting in five minutes. Oh, I forgot. Thank you. Oh, you're good. Yes, I am. Inquisitive, thoughtful, and intelligent, Samantha proves she's much more than just a voice and lands herself on our list. I got one for you. How many brain cells do I have? <sighs> That's easy, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. No, I walked right into it. <laughs> Number seven, Kylo Ren, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I will finish what you started. Bad Lucky number seven is the first order commander and number one baddie from one of the most highly anticipated movies in years. 
Though the feisty and independent Rey is also worth a mention, it's the dark, brooding, and unstable Kylo Ren and his quest for power that has seduced us all. An imperative part of the Star Wars tale, he is obsessed with Darth Vader and ends up changing the saga forever, for better or worse. Number 6. Dr. King Schultz, Django Unchained I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse Fritz. One of the most memorable films in general of the 2010s, Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained provided two especially unforgettable characters. It's like a reward. You kill people and they give you a reward? Certain people, yeah. Jamie Foxx's title role certainly wowed cinema goers, but even Django himself was slightly outshone by his mentor, Dr. King Schultz. Well, you paraphrasing a tad, but, but that was a general gist. Played by Christoph Waltz, Schultz is a bounty hunter with a deep distaste for the slave trade, a skilled and ruthless killer. He lives by his own rules, and woe betide anyone who challenges them. And since I never wish to see you again, to you, sir, I say goodbye. Number five, Terrence Fletcher, Whiplash. Little trouble there. Let's pick it up at 17. For our fifth placed entrant, there is a very vast difference between a gifted musician and a great performer. Unfortunately, this is not a Bette Midler concert. We will not be serving Cosmopolitans in Baked Alaska, so just play faster than you give f***ing handjobs, will you please? J.K. Simmons stunned audiences with his 2014 portrayal of Terrence Fletcher, a jazz instructor who cracks an especially harsh whip. Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. Targeting main character Andrew in particular, Fletcher proves the fuel to many a student's anxieties and is the inventor of many an original insult. Are you one of those single tier people? Do I look like a double f***ing rainbow to you? The teacher from hell tenfold. His methods are quite clearly questionable, but eventually, impressively, this guy gets results. Start counting. Five, six, seven. In four, damn it! Look at me! One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? Number four, Bane, The Dark Knight Rises. Of course. From a character that pulls no metaphorical punches to one who pulls none literally. It would be extremely painful. Bane has to be one of the most wildly violent villains ever. Your spirit? <laughs> Oh, your bunny! Played by Tom Hardy, he's a militant revolutionary set on breaking up society by destroying Gotham City entirely. I'm Gotham's reckoning. Here to end the ball of time you've all been living on. An in your face merciless fighter, he brings Christopher Nolan's Batman films back to brawny basics in the most brilliant of ways. Now, what's the next step of your master plan? Crashing this plane. Hardy had to bulk up by 30 pounds for the role, and boy, were those workouts worth it. Let the games begin. One, two, three! My name is Jordan Belfort. Not him. Me. Number three, Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street. Yep. On a daily basis, I consume enough drugs to sedate Manhattan, Long Island, and Queens for a month. Leonardo DiCaprio might have scored a podium place today for his role as Dom Cobb in 2010's Inception, but barely anything beats his 2013 portrayal of Wall Street's own Jordan Belfort. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Does your girlfriend think you're a f***ing worthless loser? Good. Pick up the phone and start dialing. A real-life broker, Belfort's story is cinematic gold. The fraudulent founder of Stratton Oakmont, he's a self-made millionaire whose head is firmly turned by living the <clears throat> high life. <laughs> when not fleecing clients for all they're worth, he's taking drugs, betting prostitutes, or almost crashing aircraft. This guy is definitely memorable, as well as many other things. I'm not leaving! The show goes on! Number two, Elsa, 
frozen. Anna, what do you know about true love? Well, more than you, all you know is how to shut people out. One place off of today's throne, but firmly sat upon her own. Queen Elsa is the most memorable animated character of the 2010s, and probably of the entire 21st century. Let it go, let it go, can't hold you back anymore. Loosely based on Hans Christian Andersen's The Snow Queen, Elsa is Arendelle's heiress, also gifted with the magical ability to create and manipulate snow and ice. Let it go, let it go. However, her gift is also her curse, as her powers force her to flee the kingdom and her younger sister Anna. Struggling with self-control, Elsa must realize the key to coping by letting go. An act of true love will thaw a frozen heart. Love will thaw. Love, of course. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. But I can't do any of the stuff that the prophecy says I'm supposed to do. All you have to do is to believe. Then you will see everything. She's trying to replace me. What do I do? You stole my things. I was just trying to be perfect like you. I will scan you for injuries. Don't scan me. Scan complete. Unbelievable. You have sustained no injuries. You may be confused at times and other times unsure. But remember, I will never ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. 3,000 gallons of guzzling, just like you asked. I'm gonna unhitch the pod. You dropped the rocks. The two survivors. This is what she made us. I made my own choices. Hmm. You think you did. That's her genius. Don't you get it? You spent your whole life building a bank account and a reputation, and you blow both. Good for you. F it. We'll make a comeback. Number one, Katniss Everdeen, The Hunger Games franchise. Thank you for your consideration. One of the most commercially successful franchises ever filmed, the heroine of The Hunger Games has a habit of winning hard-fought competitions, and she repeats the trick today. There's 24 of us, Gail, only one comes out. Yeah, and it's gonna be you. Initially created by author Suzanne Collins, and then played by Jennifer Lawrence on screen, Katniss Everdeen is the ultimate underdog. That about sums me up. Born into District 12, when she volunteers for Pan Am's scandalous signature televised event, she's only expected to make the numbers up. For me, what does that mean? Let me go! You do want them as allies. Against the odds, however, she becomes the girl on fire and eventual leader of the rebellion. Katniss is the classiest of acts. <laughs> do you agree with our list? Which character from the first half of the 2010s do you remember most of all? Get the f out of my sight before I demolish you. For more top 10s overflowing with awesome characters published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. No, you stay here. I'm in charge. Do you feel in charge?